Today we are going to talk about the R package stringer that allows the user to manipulate character strings. We chose this package because manipulating strings is a big component in languages such as Python, Java, or C. Although it may not have as big of a use in R, it is definitely a great package for the times you need to change or locate character strings. The first function of stringer is string length. This is actually now equivalent to ncare in the basic R program, but it's in this package too. As suggested by its name, it returns the length of the string. It will also return how many numbers are in the argument and will return NA for NA as expected. Next is string sub, which prints or modifies characters within the string. It has three arguments, the character string, the start position, and the end position. It counts white spaces as characters. Like other uses of integers in R, the numbers are inclusive, starting at 1 or, and using negative numbers counts from the end rather than the beginning. Um, to modify a string, you can use assignment to assign a new string character to that position. If the string you are, you are assigning is smaller than the section that is being replaced, the resulting string will be shorter. It does not recycle the replacing string to fit the interval. The last basic function of stringer is string dupe, which duplicates a string. It requires the string or a vector of strings and an integer or vector of integers for how many times the string should be replicated. If one vector is longer than the other, the shorter vector will be recycled until the longer vector has been completed. We'll now move into pattern matching functions within stringer. We will use the following vector for our example. The first function we will look at is the detect function. The detect function identifies matching characters that you specify. For example, if we wanted to identify the names that only have the letters J, O, S, E in that order, we'll write the following function. The function has returned a list of Boolean values that correspond to whether or not the string had J, O, S, E. If we want to count the number of instances a text appears, we use the strCount function. In this case, let's find out how many times the letter R occurs. The result tells us how many times R appears in each string. Stringer also has the ability to identify the location of specified text using strLocate function. Just like previous functions, the first argument is the object and the second is the text we want to locate. If the string has a specified text, it will return the start and end location of the R specified text. Otherwise, it will return NA, meaning the text has not been found. Stringer also has the ability to replace and find and replace a specified string. In this example, we'll replace Bradford with Jenny. str replace acts similarly to the previous examples, but we have one more argument. Note that the result has not been stored. When we look at the vector, the name Bradford has not been replaced by Jenny. To replace it, store the result over itself. Now, Jenny has been replaced by Bradford. These functions are some of the basics of Stringer and represent a handful of capabilities of string manipulation. For more information on the package, the comprehensive R archive network has a detailed PDF on all of the functions. Thanks for listening.